Howdy gamers, for aerial fishing, I would recommend bringing your angler outfit. If you don't have that, definitely don't let that deter you from coming. I would also recommend bringing some sort of teleport. Um, I'm bringing the achievement diary cape for that. As well as these things, you can also bring a knife in your inventory, and that's really all you need to get started. I will put the table of the potential things you can catch while aerial fishing up on the screen now, so feel free to pause this if you'd like to look at this. It'll just tell you the fishing requirements, the hunting requirements and the amount of experience that you get for catching each one. Now there are a few ways to get to the island. I'm gonna be using a fairy ring and be using code DJR, as I think this is just the simplest way to get there. So once you're here, you can turn your camera south and you should see this little boat down here called Bodhi. So we're gonna head down to our friend Bodhi right now. So once you make it over to our friend Bodhi, you're gonna go ahead and head to Mulch or Mulk Island and there will be a fella standing right to your south. Go ahead and right click on him and click get bird. You can kind of go ahead and space bar through this. It is worth noting that you cannot have any weapon, anything in the shield slot and anything in the glove slot in order to equip this bird. You'll see some of these king worms on the ground. I would recommend just grabbing about eight of these, putting them in your inventory. So once you get your king worms, you're gonna use those for bait and you're gonna start catching fish. I like to just pick a spot on the island and, and kind of roll with it from there. Some people like to move around as it makes it a little bit quicker if you're running around to these spots. Obviously the closer the fishing spot is, the more you're gonna be able to do, but to me, it's just not worth it to do that. I like to just kind of stay in one spot, stay stationary. So once you have that full inventory of fish, you can just use your knife on one of the fish and you can either AFK once you do it once, or what I like to do is put my knife in the bottom right and just kind of go back and forth like this. Get rid of all those fish. And now we have 25 fish chunks, which we will actually be using as bait from this point forth. So you can go ahead and drop your king worms, any that you have left. And we're just going to repeat this method of catching fish, filling up a full inventory. And whenever you get a full inventory, obviously using your knife on it and getting more fish chunks and more bait and just keeping that stack growing. So I know a lot of people like to do this activity just for the decent hunter and fishing experience. It is pretty good experience, but a lot of people also would like to do it to try to get these pearls in order to trade things in for the collection log here. Most of the things in the aerial fishing collection log are obtained by trading in these pearls to Arlie, like these three equipable versions of these fishing rods, as well as a fish sack. You can also buy the angler outfit here. I know a lot of people would prefer to just do fishing trawler, but that is an option for you as well. Now, the only other thing from the collection log you might be looking for here is the golden tench it is a 1 in 20,000 drop rate you can either just equip this and keep it obviously or you can trade this into all reef for an extra 100 pearls which is pretty nice i put a very handy aerial fishing calculator in the description below so check that out if you'd like and good luck out there